Hey guys, long time no speak. Um, coming at you with a new video. I am going to be recording my uh, a couple meals today and some training. Um, got some front squats today to show you, and uh, I'd say some chest, uh, mostly triceps, core, some calves. So stay tuned for that. Um, my first meal today is coming up. I actually just made it, I'm about to eat it, and I'm gonna show you what I got, so check it out. All right, so first meal of the day, um, which is gonna be my pre-workout. Uh, I'll be training in an hour, so um, you know me, I usually get in my gold standard whey protein. Um, I usually have that with oats, but today, decided to make some Dave's Killer Bread with some Skippy peanut butter and strawberry jelly, which is good as fuck. Um, got the whey, and then I got an orange, so it's like 220 grams of the orange. Uh, perfect pre-workout. You got my slow digesting carbs, fast, fast digesting protein with uh, those amino acids, which I like getting in. Uh, I don't take BCAAs. But there's a good amount in here. <clears throat> I really don't recommend BCAs for most people. I mean, you could. I think that's like one of the last supplements you should take. There's so many more um, important supplements, uh, in my opinion, that should be taken before BCAs. But um, if you're taking a good whey protein supplement, you really don't have to worry too much about the uh, branch chain amino acids because they have it in it already. Um, so I'm going to eat this up and then I'm going to go get ready to hit the gym. Stay tuned, boys. You want to be, want to be all saints. Trying hard to be someone else. Giving no time to breathe This is our identity
guys just got back from the gym um, I'm gonna show you my post-workout meal it's uh, pretty interesting kind of a diverse set of foods here so uh, check it out all right so first I have uh, four grams of creatine I'm taking let me grab the pre-workout I'm using right now I just started taking this because I got a deal on smartpatterns.com five for 25 bucks so this has like six grams of creatine per two scoops whoops sorry per two scoops this is pretty good so four plus six is ten I like to take seven to ten grams of creatine every single day that's just me um, works for me I feel like if I could add some more creatine in there without upsetting my stomach why not um, so yeah four grams of creatine I got 45 grams worth of the gold standard whey which comes out to like 36 grams of protein. By the way, the pre-workout I'm taking now is pretty good. No jitters, no like heart palpitations or any craziness like that. I'm very sensitive to caffeine, so um, this is pretty clean energy, so I'm really enjoying that. Um, and I'll just throw in more citrulline mallet in there. I'll throw like four grams extra because there's not that much in here. But um, yeah, so I also got some Oreos, as you can see, two of those, and then I got some fudge stripes um, cookies. I got four of those here. Um, that comes out to total like 50 or 60 carbs right there. And then I, this is like random, but I don't have any other like simple sugars in my um, fridge. So I'm using a serving and a half of this, which is uh, an extra 33 carbs. Yeah, so uh, it's a near 100 carbs, like almost 40 protein, um, maybe like 20 or 30 grams of fat, but easy, simple. Um, I actually recorded yesterday's workout and one meal, and now today I'm recording my post-workout for you guys, so I'm kind of combining two days. Um, I'm going to try to start uploading more for you guys here. Training is going very well. I'm doing really well with my... Uh, my weights. I'm on a power block right now, so it's mostly five reps. Um, I wish I could have showed you my flat dumbbell press yesterday, but uh, my buddy filmed vertically. So <laughs> shout out to Nazar, but he, yeah, he's kind of new to the whole filming thing. So I needed it horizontal. <laughs> it's all good. Um, I'll show you guys next week's workout with some dumbbell press. But um, I got some front squats in for you guys, um, 280, 280 pounds for five or six reps. Felt really easy too on front squats. Um, I actually just PR'd again today on barbell hip thrusts. Uh, I believe it was 435 for five reps. So yeah, I've never, um, I've never gone that heavy before. Like this is a power block. So I'm really trying to push the weight not sacrifice too much form um but yeah i'm really trying to push the, you know push the load up there um trying to get stronger doing that really well i think i did 130s on incline dumbbell for six i've never touched 130s before actually on an incline so you know it's going really well i'm going to try and get more workouts for you guys i know it's been like a couple weeks since i uploaded i did the um disc herniation warm-ups uh, the last video that was the last video yeah that was the last video um, warming up the glutes the obliques the rectus abdominis getting yourself you know mobile um, that was in the last video there wasn't really any vlogging or anything so uh, it's Christmas Eve right now um, things are going really well um, haven't really been back squatting that much I'm trying to figure out why um, my back is kind of weird with back squats. I think it has to do with my butt wink and it's kind of affecting that. Um, so I haven't really doing, been doing too much back squats, but honestly, uh, there's more knee, to knee torque, uh, twerk. <laughs> there's more knee torque. Oh my God. <laughs> there's more knee torque on a front squat. Um, so that could really, that ne not necessarily better for quads. It might be. Um, there's more quad activation on a front squat, at least for me. I mean, I'm just like straight up and down on a front squat. Um, so 280 pounds on a front squat. I mean, I'm hardly, I'm not really using hips, glutes, hammies as much. So um, my quads are going to be just fine. If anything, I'm going to keep growing even without the back squats in there. 
Um, RDLs, 315 for six the other day. Um, another PR, I've never done that before. Um, yeah, so things are going really well. The goal is still to compete late next year. Um, I'm about 227 pounds right now. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's going good. I'm getting like half a pound a week. Um, that is the goal. I'm trying to cover everything. What else? Yeah, so try to upload more for you guys. Um, slow and steady. This is a marathon sport. I'm not really rushing anything. The physique is built in the off season. So if you're doing too much cutting, if you're cutting for long periods of time, um, you're going to have a hard time putting on quality size. Someone out there who's doing it slowly, methodically, not in a, in a caloric deficit as much, um, he's going to, he's going to whoop you, man. Like the off season is where you grow. You do not grow in a caloric deficit as a natural athlete. Very little muscle mass is, is grown when you're in a deficit or a contest prep or something like that. So for all you younger guys, especially in your 20s, um, man, stay off season as long as you can, honestly. Um, don't worry about looking good at the beach. You can, right? I mean, you could still be in off season and look relatively lean. Um, but, you know, it really depends on your goals too. My goals um, are 0% you know, of looking good or at the beach or at the gym, that doesn't mean anything to me. What means everything to me is coming the best I can on show day, on game day, and, you know, battling it out, you know, for the top spot. That's, that's why I do this. It's fun. I'm a competitor. I love it. So um, that's always in my mind. Really looking forward to uh, meeting a lot of new, um, new friends in the industry. I'm talking to few different people just awesome like conversing with people who have similar goals as you who's passionate um yeah so i'm looking forward to getting my name out there and helping people and growing the sport hopefully one day become a unified sport and once that happens there's no no stop in natural bodybuilding so um i have really big goals for it excited for it um all right, so enough of that. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably upload another meal for you guys. Um, so stay tuned for that, and I hope you enjoyed the workout, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, guys, on to meal three. Uh, I got a chicken parm hero from Ciro's uh, in Smithtown, Long Island. Really good, so come check it out. So I got this yesterday, that's why it's cold. I'm gonna throw it in the uh, oven here, toaster. Boom, put that in for like 10 minutes, and then we'll be good. And while that uh, heats up, I'm gonna have some orange as well. Orange is uh, really high in carbs and actually has a lot of fiber. Like, uh, what do I have here? 160 grams of orange is like four or five grams of fiber. Um, and it tastes amazing too. So, definitely recommend it. All right, so here's the finished product. Chicken Parm Hero and the orange. When y'all think I'm eating this, I'm really eating that. See ya.